Hi and welcome to the channel. It's the 15th of March 2022 and uh, my next project is going to be the Gibraltar Porter 1889 6.7% by the Isle of Wight Brewery. I'll uh, just take you through the green bill. Um, so we've got uh, 5.6 kilograms of pale malt, one kilogram of the Demerara sugar. I'm going to use Muscovado I think 50% light and 50% dark, um, some brown malt, um, black malt, 82.5 grams of fuggles at um, 60 minute boil and 16 grams of fuggles at hop stand and the yeast is going to be SO4 by Safiel. Now the reason I'm doing this one is I've well, my father has a um, bit of a big birthday coming up, but not until September, uh, the 19th of September. So my plan with this one is to do the brew day tomorrow and ferment in the uh, Grainfather Pros. But uh, as you can see down here, I have a, a malt miller, 10 litre, oak cask and I'm going to put 10 litres of this uh, porter into that to um, barrel age for well it's approximately six months from now isn't it so we'll see how that turns out so I probably won't be showing you this video until then to see how things turn out and um, the whatever I have left I will probably put in a keg and possibly um about six bottles so i've not unwrapped this yet obviously we um i'll do a little video about uh how i go and sort out to get this oak barrel up and running for this brew obviously i think i took some water in it uh, so it swells up for 48 hours so anyway we'll, we'll go through that when the time comes so yes tomorrow is going to be a brew day i'm here this evening to sort out all the waters and um whatever water treatments i need to put in let them settle overnight um came in switched on the tv uh to have a look to see how the uh hydrometer tilts were and the screen was blank so i had to reset reset the um Raspberry Pi there. When I, when I say reset, I mean switch it on and off a couple of times. Thankfully, it's kicked in. So, um, got three tilts here. So, if I just give them a bit of a shake, just to bring them alive, to see. purple ones there already I need to change it from the Americanized uh, and there's the red popping on and finally let's get this green one going oh the green one's on already so isn't it uh, so yeah purple that's why I'm next there we go so all three up and running so uh, I just need to sort the Fahrenheit to centigrade. Thankfully, that's working. So, yeah, just a quick one to begin. Um, I'll set all the water, weigh out all the grains, get up in the morning, and uh, I should be good to go. So, uh, I'll start recording again tomorrow, but as I said, this won't be shown now until September all being well. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit. Good morning and welcome to the channel. I've already had a head start on you this morning. Um, the sparge water heating up there. I've um, been mashing for the last 47 48 minutes, just got a few 
uh, minutes left on that. The port is looking well, dark as you'd expect. Uh, looking through the sight glass, proper black if you ask me. So uh, I'll get cracking on with that now. Sparge it. Been reading uh, a year of the beer by Johnny Garrett of uh, Craft Brew Channel fame. And um, just been reading Dry January actually, <laughs> so I've just started them up. But uh, yeah, um, come back when uh, sparging is done, and uh, we'll get cr crack it up on that now, and uh, everything should be okay. Just finally reached temperature. So yeah, I'm uh, happy that I started early this morning. It's promising a, a, a nice day. This afternoon is just draining at the moment. So uh, just need to clean the fermenter here and uh, we should be good to go. All right, come back in a minute. I'll see you in a bit. Hi, welcome back. Just reached the boil. We've got 85 grams of fuggles to pop in there. Got the steam condenser on, as you can see. So, pop break. 85 grams of fuggles for the 60 minute boil. Oh, you're steaming up there, sorry. Let me just give it a wipe. Eighty five grams of fuggles straight in. We'll keep that going now for uh, the boil. Um, I'll add some yeast nutrients at fifteen minutes and then uh, the it does ask for uh, one kilogram of demerara sugar, but I've gone for five hundred grams of light muscovado. I'm going to pop in 500 grams of dark muscovado so we'll give that a go see what it makes out, out of it um, I have done this in the past and it was great with demerara but we you know, just like to spice things up a bit really so uh, yeah uh, come back later on and we'll see how we get on welcome back so I've just uh, got the last of the hops in there and I'm just uh, get Sorting out this muscovado sugar, it's a bit uh, compact, so I need to get that sorted and pop that straight in now. Hi, welcome, welcome back. I've just done the um, 80 minute hop stand now. Uh, just getting up to temperature on that 80 degrees. I've um, put the turbinator in and uh, just slowly whirl pulling around. Smells gorgeous, absolutely smells gorgeous. So, uh, clean the uh, fermenter. Uh, that's ready to take the uh, wort and then uh, wait for that to go down to 24 degrees. And uh, I'll probably pitch the yeast. So, all in all, quite a good day. Bit of cleaning up to do now. Um, next time you'll see me probably is putting some of this uh, wort or beer um, by then into the oak barrel, uh, 10 litres of it anyway. Okay, so probably see you in a couple of weeks, but for you, a few seconds, take it. Hi, it's uh, Glani here, 25th of March today, and it's... Um, the next stage for the porter um, I've dropped it down this morning to uh, cold crash uh, I've gone for about four degrees um, just to make sure that everything um, falls in the uh, suspension so just to spin you around there we go so it's 10.53 starting gravity and 10.10 so we've got 5.6% which I'm happy enough um, we didn't want it to be too um, heavy uh, or too boozy uh, on the alcohol 
after all it is for my father who will be 80 in September um, so yeah so the next stage is um, to prepare uh, the barrel uh, it's been wrapped or kept wrapped as it should with cling film uh, I'll be opening that up soon um, but before that um, some water um, put some chem sand in it and I just need to put the um, tap and the top bung uh, just open this bag pop these in here and allow them to uh, just open that yeah just allow that to expand in the water um, in fact what I will do is try to put a bit of weight on them to hold oh, see if I can put some weight I'll put some weight on that just to hold these down make sure that um, the uh, uh, a full covering uh, from the water um, and allow them to expand so speed you around so what I'll do next now is open the um, oak barrel I'll clean um, the inside first with just with just with water um, because there are I can hear bits of the oak uh, still inside so I need to empty of that um, what I'll do then is um, clean everything inside, fill it with warm water and leave that then for 24 hours at least. Um, once I've done that, just to make sure that it um, expands and seals. Um, so when it comes to getting the porter out of the fermenters into the barrel, that it's a proper seal and it's not leaking. Um, so that's what I'll do um, today. Uh, and I'll show you a bit of that next. Hi, right, so I just need to unwrap this cellophane from the barrel. Put that in the bin. So I don't know if you can hear, but there are remnants of wood in there. So just need to fill this with cold water and um, drain out of the hole here and try to get that piece out. So if I get hold of it, I'll show you. So just bear with me whilst I get some cold water into this. Hi and uh, welcome back. I just put some cold water through that barrel as I said uh, and this is why you should clean it. I've uh, kept um, some of the bad stuff that's in there. There's plenty of bits and pieces and pieces of oak in there. As you can see it's quite filthy really. So it's, uh, it's a must to clean it out. Yeah so um, I'll get some warm water now. Uh, and uh, get these, uh, get the uh, tap plugged in. I'll show you how I do that as well. Hi, welcome back. So, a bit of star sun, and uh, I'll just get the tap. Been soaking in that water now. So introduce this get it as straight as possible and then bear with me ever so gently tap this in to make a seal making sure you don't split just letting the hammer make do the work for me rather than really battering it down that's making uh, quite a seal there and pretty sure that'll be good enough that's it. it's not splitting anywhere so I'm not gonna do any more than that really 
so let's put the hammer down um, what I'll do first of all is put it on its stand put it into position now this is 10 litres I'm just gonna type in uh, about seven litres of water I put some cold water into this uh, I've got a kettle here with a boiled water and I'll add that in after just to make sure that you know the water's quite warm in there so just bear with me seven litres of water into that now put some stars on here the edge there then there and run Seven got in there. Get away. Put some warm water in this now, or hot water, I should say. Put some more water in that. I'll pause you for a minute guys while I uh, reheat some hot water and we'll come back. Right, I'm just going to fill the rest of this in guys. I'll probably top that up with some uh, cold water now uh, and move it over to the draining board so it, it allows the um, barrel to expand uh, and anything that's leaking can just drain down. So I'll just move up this up here and we'll come back and get you the camera. We'll uh, just pop over. So 
I'm expect. Obviously, you can see where I've some of the water's leaked from around here and where I put the star sand on there. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can see it's leaking there in the bottom. So we'll obviously, you know, that's to be expected, and we'll allow this now to uh, expand over the next. They say between seven and twenty-four. Uh, so I'm going to leave that for twenty-four hours. Um, I'll, I'll add some water uh, in here and uh, come back in two seconds. Yeah, so I've um, finished filling it up now. Uh, put the top on. Uh, I did put some star sand in with that water. So we'll just leave that now. Um, it's dripping quite profusely at the moment. Um, I did open this tap just to release some water. Uh, anyway, that's all I can do for the moment. We'll come back in 24 hours. So, we'll see what happens. Um, just need to clear up a bit and uh, we'll come back tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Speak to you in a bit. Hi, and it's next morning, so let's see how the barrel has fared um, overnight. Uh, if you remember, it was quite wet because I'd um, got a lot of water all over the top, but it seemed to have dried out. Let's have a look. So as you can see, it's much drier. Some expansion going here on the top. Um, this is fully dried out. It was quite wet and it was dripping yesterday. Um, some expansion left here. And the bottom's still wet, but mm, slight drip coming out of there. So, yeah, it needs a 24 hours, I think. But yesterday, you could see about two or three drips at a time. There's only the one at the moment. So, let's hope that expands overnight um, during today. Yeah, just a quick uh, catch up on this one for you guys. And uh, just a quick overlook of what it looks like. Yeah, so uh, I'll leave that today now, um, and uh, I'll come and see it before bedtime this evening. See you in a bit. Hi, and welcome back. Today is Wednesday, the 30th of March, um, and I've come to the brew shed this morning, got a day off, just to have a look at how the uh, barrel has been expanding to seal basically and it's taken at least four if not five days much more than was um anticipated really uh looking at what malt Mil miller and everything on youtube 24 to 48 hours well it's it's not not been that i'll be totally honest with you so let me just show you uh, what's left to do bear with me so this now is the only damp patch that's there um, I showed you before there were several leaks in the bottom but there's nothing there now so this is the only part I think that needs drying out hopefully by um, this evening that will have dried out and um, I can start transferring the porter into it uh, let me get some extra light in here um, yeah so that's where I'm at this morning I was hoping Having looked at it last night, that it would be ready this morning just to transfer over, but I'm not going to risk it. It's my first time. Um, not really sure um, what I'm doing personally with it. It's because I've been looking on YouTube, and a lot of the stuff on there has been for um, wines and spirits. Um, only I could only find two or three for the beers for the small barrels as such. So uh, yeah, I've been been very patient much more patient than i usually am to hold on and wait for that to cure um and expand the port is definitely um ready i think it's down to about one to below seven so it's um fermented out much better than anticipated as well really so yeah so um enjoy me back later on hopefully transferring some of that porter into the barrel for um barrel aging um, I'll probably put the rest uh, in a bottle uh, in a few bottles sorry 
and um, the rest of the keg. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Take it. Hi, and uh, welcome back. Uh, we're a few days um, along from uh, the last time I spoke to you. Um, it's the sixth, yeah, the sixth of April. Time just be flying. I've uh, been very, very busy with work, etc. So, anyway, at long last, the cask has finally dried out well to a level which I'm very, very happy with. So, I'll be transferring the porter um, today. Um, my phone, uh, work phone's pinging in the background there. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so, and I've also drop down the um, lager to uh, set for three degrees just cooling at this moment in time so the lager has uh, finished fermenting happy with that so that's uh, what's going on at the moment um, so another little piece uh, that's changed well is changing I'm gonna do this job first is uh, I've moved the HLT from here, um, put some new items there, um, so I think it looks a bit neater that way. Um, so uh, I'm doing another little vlog just to show what I'm doing with the HLT uh, and the problems that I had before, so I'll, I'll leave that for a, another vlog. Yeah, so uh, join you back in a minute. And um, we'll draw some. I'll draw up some of this porter. Pop it in the <clears throat> uh, barrel, and um, I'll put the rest of it in a keg. Probably might even get a few bottles out. So uh, just so I can share with the friends. Okay, come back in a bit. Hi and welcome, it's the 7th of April 2022 and finally I can get the porter put into the oak barrel, a few bottles and um, whatever's left I'll put in a keg. So uh, come inside, let's have a look see what we're doing. So there's the oak barrel all dried out. Need to empty and flush that. Um, it's been sitting with the uh, water to expand um, in it. Um, brand new keg just needs cleaning. Uh, I'm going to do about six bottles. Uh, just got some VWP in there to clean. And then I'll um, uh, sterilise with um, Chemsan. Uh, so I'll have to clean all those bottles and pipes and. Um, We'll uh, get cracking, so it's been cold crushing at about 4 degrees and uh, it's been doing that for quite some time actually, um, so it should be well on its way and ready. Um, so once I put uh, the porter into this oak barrel, um, I've got my CO2 here, I'll probably um, put a layer of CO2 inside the barrel as well, just as... Um, uh, a membrane to stop any oxygen getting to the uh, the portal itself. So, yeah. So let me just get these bottles cleaned, sanitized, sterilized, and sanitized. Um, empty that. Get the keg cleaned, and uh, uh, can join uh, back with me here to see me get the porter put in, and uh, hopefully everything be a okay. So uh, I'm using the bucket blaster for the keg. So at the moment I've got um, some BWP in there. I've already done the bottles, the bottles are just drying out. Uh, just made a couple of clear ones so I can see the coloration. Expecting black obviously as a being a porter. So they're just drying out and uh, yeah we should be um, good to go in a few uh, seconds. I'll just put some Kemsan mixer in this now and let that clean out and we uh, I'll meet back here to 
transfer into the barrel and the keg. So, see you in a bit. Hi, so ready to transfer into the bottles. I've got six prime bottles already, a couple of uh, cubes of sugar there. So, let's go. So that's the colour, I'll uh, sort out the top in a second, but yeah, it's the really black porter colour. I'll get these done, I'll come back so we can do the uh, oak barrel. So I've just cleaned out the barrel, uh, sprayed a bit of star sand, uh, stars down on the star sand, sorry, on the hose. So we'll just put the hose in, we'll set you up here should be able to see the holes on there up with the tap I'll let the filling commence so I'll fill that up now to as much as I can I'll leave a bit of a layer and as I said I'll put um, uh, a layer of CO2 over the top and seal the bungs in the star sun here ready so we leave that running now for a while and we'll come back in a bit that's it it's filled up to as much as what I need I'll put some CO2 in now And, uh, that should be okay I'll tap this in and uh, it's already transferring now into the keg for me as well so uh, yeah quite happy with that hope everything works out probably next time I'll see you is uh, if I get a bit of a tip pull from this and uh, finally from the barrel itself see you then take care <laughs> Hi and welcome back to the final instalment. Wow, it's been a long six months. It's Friday the 16th of September. I think I started this on the 15th of March um, and it's six months and one day basically. So uh, dad gets his birthday on Monday uh, on the 19th. So um, it's been a long six months as I said. I've been really looking forward to this day. And um, let me just show you the bottle. There we go. So that's been conditioning f since the 20th of August in that bo uh, bottle there. So six months in the barrel, um, more or less, um, and six months, well, six months conditioning in, in total, about f just over five and a half months in the barrel. So... Um, I've just literally finished editing the last six months. We just turn you around. Oh, there we go. Um, the final stages of that, really. And um, I just got this piece to record, which is opening the bottle and giving it a taste. See if the there's any difference or 
indeed what does it taste like i'm hoping that it's drinkable at the very least because i'm not told my dad anything about this it's going to be um, a complete surprise for him uh, i just hope that it's as i said drinkable um, and hope it, it's come out with some additional flavors so without further ado should we open the bottle let's give it a go get this glass out of the way for you just hope it's not going to go over, all over the shop so here you go oh nice bit of cannon smoke on that let's see if we can pour this nicely into this glass Well, it certainly does look the part. Let's uh, grab the camera here. And there's the head. Quite um, creamy coffee. Let's have a, um, the aroma. Wow, yeah. Wow, you, that's, when I was cleaning the barrel, that is the, the aroma that I got really has infused into this beer or this porter i should say definitely coffee chocolate notes very roasted wow that was that's that aroma is brilliant really really happy now for the taste. This this is the most important part. So let's go. Let's have a dive in here. Boom. That's that is bang on. Wow. Thanks to the beer gods. Wow, that is um, a beautiful beer. It lingers. The old, it's the vanilla. It is unbelievable. There's me going quiet again. So I'm really, really studying <laughs> vanilla, coffee, chocolate, um, treacle. Definitely treacle in that as well. Oh, but the oak notes. Oh, if you ever get a chance, guys, to, to do this. I tell you, it, it does take time. Obviously, the six months, the barrel aging itself. Um, I wish I could have hidden it somewhere out of the way every time I went into the brew shed that was there waiting for me. But wow, I'm really happy and really, really impressed. Oh, that, that's tidy. Bang on. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, so, big success as far as I'm concerned. Uh, proof will be in the pudding when I open. Well, I'll give Dad a few bottles and um, probably crack open a bottle with him. I'm going to keep a few. My brother's um, coming down um, with his wife and kids next week so um give him a bottle too we'll open it up with that i'll try to take some footage of that uh just a quick one so you can see what dad thought of it um and i hope he likes it so um as we say in wales pembley happy dad happy birthday dad 80 years young and uh, i hope he enjoys it um, as much as I've enjoyed making it, and um, really happy. I know the smile says it all. Yechida, take care, and I'll see you very soon.